Hello, people, it's Poet. And, uh, if you've been following my stuff, you'd know that I'm pretty sick right now, but... You know what? You know what makes me feel better? Is just playing video games like this. I mean, just because I have... What is it? Pneumonia? Bronchitis? Something like that. I don't know what it is. It's just crazy. Can't breathe. Can't speak. Can't can't do anything without coughing up a storm, but... I'm gonna try to get through this quick video. Um, my arms aren't broken or anything like that, so I can still play. Now, let's see what we've done to our character. Got some new armor on. Uh, new weapon. It's a... What is it? Battle-tested Iron Great Axe plus 10. It does damage 11.5 and blah blah blah. I uh, got some artless iron glove things. Unwieldy iron... What are these? Shoulder armor. Okay. And then these are the gloves. Crappy iron lamp. Uh, used iron boots. Because, you know, I'm all second hand. Uh, dusty iron... None of my stuff sounds good. It's either dusty, scratched, unwieldy. You know, like, utter crap is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, but that's fine. You know, I'm still, I'm still a newbie. I got to level 6 off camera and I'm as you can see by the experience bar in the top left I'm almost at level 7 so we're getting there we're getting there okay um, let's see what else I changed myself to a guardian I don't know why it I like taking damage more um, especially when you're soloing something and I've leveled up a few of the skills so that's kinda where we're at uh, I'm following this this guy bad? He's bad spike creature let's take him on following this path, because I kind of want to find another town. And I figured that I might be able to find another town if we uh, follow the path. Kind of makes sense, right? But then I looked at the map, and I realized that we're kind of going towards this Crorier Palace. And I don't know if that means that that's what I'm going to find when we're at the end of this road. Like, should I have gone... Because if I zoom way out... Okay, way out. Uh, what? Huh? it does that? That's weird. Show me the rest. I mean, there should be more over here. There's actually a path. And I think you can maybe see a little bit of it. it. Goes along this way to the what are there? Ikamar Mountains, and then there's another path that goes this way. And you can see it ends right around here. It's a little orange path. But apart from that, hmm, weirdest thing. For a second, I almost thought that I saw, like, a player's icon on the map. That couldn't have been true. Well, whatever. We're, we're heading down this path. And uh, we'll see what we can find at the end of it. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it's a new town. Um, I've heard that at new towns you can find different, better things to equip. Your footsteps. I think the sound of footsteps travels, it carries a little bit- oh crap! There's a whole pack of them, huh? Let's get rid of this guy first. Oh! There we go. Come on! Oh no! Well, we almost did it. Ah, oh, where was that now? Because... They drop a lot of good stuff. Which way? Uh, that way. I just want to run back a little bit. Was it this way? Where were they? Have I passed this part yet? I just don't know. I That's one thing about this game... No, I haven't been here yet. It's one thing about this game that I don't really like is the... The fact that when you die, you respawn at these randomized little angel statue type things and uh, to be honest I wish that it was a little less random um, or something or that it would at least show you like a beacon in the air of where you last died if anybody has played feed the beast um, or that kind of thing where they have the the waypoints <clears throat> excuse me I feel my voice is leaving me now it's part of me being sick but you know how in how in um, some of the Minecraft stuff they have, like, when you die, it'll show you last death and, like, a beacon into the air so that you can run right back to where you were. 
that's where what they should have, or maybe like a little skull and crossbones on the map, or something like that, just to show you that, yeah, that's where you last died, so you can run back to the battle, or run back to the loot that you just dropped, like I just went and did. Um, because sometimes, like one time I, I died, and then I respawned at one of those little angel things, and there was an ogre right standing above my head, so he killed me immediately. And then I was at another random angel, and I was like, well, where did I first die? I don't, I don't even know. So, could be better, could be a little bit more convenient. Should I go after that witch? Let's go after that witch. Is she evil? No, she's a good witch. Good witch. Alright. There's a bed. Don't need it. Um, how much further until we... Still nothing really showing up on the map except for this palace up ahead. I hope that's not the only thing that we're going to find. Uh, let's, let's see here. Um... Okay, are these guys good? Bad? They're good. You guys are good. Wow. I learned so much about these people. They love hang gliding. They're expert climbers. They like sailing. They never have anything useful to say. I'm imagining that eventually these guys, like little guys like that, will have side quests or something. There's got to be some reason for that so many of them to be running around. Although I've seen, uh, like, in, in situations where you're up against a boss, sometimes those little walking uh, ally guys are very, very useful. It would be nice if you could somehow uh, make it so that they could become, like, a, a temporary party with you. Cows. Cows give so much experience. I'm gonna go attack these cows. Oh, I missed completely. Crap. Okay, let's see how much experience he gives me. If I can hit him. Level up. Four experience. That's pretty crazy. There we go. Four and five experience. Like, why a little cow gives you so much? It's just crazy. Five experience from that guy. I can kill this red named, really difficult to beat guy, and he'll give me one experience. Kill a cow, which is pretty easy, and I'll get five. I don't understand it at all. Alright, so back to the path we go. It's in this direction. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Grab some of those heart things. I haven't been grabbing them in a long time, and I really need to. Because I have learned how to make potions. And I would if I could, but I don't have any glass bottles on me. So, I need to get to a town. That's basically what I'm saying. Need to get to a town. Bumblebee. Look at him. Chubby little guy. So strong that my knockdown attack didn't do anything. There we go. Five experience, too. Huh. Okay, so cows and bumblebees. Very good for leveling up on. Oh, experience. Okay, so what should I... I've got... How many... Huh? Ten? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait. Okay, so I've got four skill points to use up. I would like to... Level that up. There we go. Learn. Now I can hang glide! Hooray! Hooray! We're off to save the day. And I can hang glide now. That means that I should probably buy a hang glider so that I can. But maybe in the next town. We shall see. That's exciting. Because, yeah, that basically gets you a 
enables usage of hang gliders. My flying speed is 177.27%. Whatever that means. But as you level it up, it gets faster, so... I'm sure that a very nice, high-leveled hang glider would be a very, very nice use of... Use of tra oh, wait. Can I speak? Doesn't help that I'm sick, but... It would be a very nice way of traveling. Don't you cheat! Don't you cheat with that! There you go. I'm coughing already. See, it's not good. Not good! I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna call this episode quits because I don't want to make my t myself too sick. I mean, uh, I'm not getting any worse, but. Obviously, it's not making things better if I'm coughing on camera. So, where, how far are we? We gotta be almost, man. Those guys are all good. Who put this giant rock in the middle of the, come on, people. Blow it up. Do some demolition. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just clearing your road for you. That didn't really do a good job, but better than it was. I was half expecting there to be stuff like inside of these big rocks. Considering you can blow them up. But guess not. Alright, come on. Oh, there's something. No, that's just a tree. That would be nice if we had a hang glider and it was super fast. That would be so beautiful to run with. I mean, well, fly with, glide with. It would just come in handy. Okay, Crorier Palace is actually off to the right. Which means... Wait. How come there's like this weird random... You see that? It's like this one part that's loaded in. I don't understand how the map loading works, but... Okay, so this goes... Crorier Palace is like right there. This keeps going. So... Maybe we're gonna find something soon. Maybe we're going to find the next village. Could be. Follow the yellow brick road. Feels like I'm following a yellow brick road. There's just nothing to see. It's the weirdest thing. And barely any enemies, really. Considering I'm so far out. But, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's something. Look at this. What are these? Knob... Knobolds? Kill them all. Oh god! Oh, they're strong! Uh-oh, they're gonna kill me. Oh god, I'm dead. Yep. Okay, where the heck am I? See, that's the thing. Oh god, this guy's red? Insect guard? What are you guarding? The trees? There we go. Ooh, 11 experience! almost too good. Here we go, some frogmen will be good to kill. Oh, that guy's strong. Aha! Oh, no you don't! There we go. Drop something good. Okay, where the heck are we? Okay, so I have to get the roads back this way, but I kind of like those guards. If I could survive another one, 11 experience is just crazy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Run a bit, run a bit. Run a lot. Crap. Crap. One. Yeah, oh crap. They survived it. Woo! Run a bit, run a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna try to survive until I can use one again. The slamming skill. Okay. Oh! We beat one. What is that? Ten experience? That's pretty good. Okay. Oh man, my health. Run a bit more. Come on. 
We can do it. Oh, they're strong. Haha. <laughs> they're almost dead, though. Almost. But so am I. Just gotta do this one more time. Come on. I thought this guardian thing was supposed to make me stronger. Oh, God. This guy wants me dead. He is not happy that I just took out all of his friends. Come on. Oh, you want me, don't you? There you go. Wow, that was a lot of experience. All right. I'm feeling pretty good. A horse. I can take my horse. Somehow. Uh. Uh, how do you, how do you? I don't know what even tames horses. Apples. Apples do. Okay. So I just put it on the pet slot. Now what? He sure likes me. How do I... What do I do? Eh? Wait! Look! In the top left! Is he just mine now? <laughs> I just got a level 7 horse? Just because I got an apple? Oh yeah! Pet horse! And he says his, he's rideable. Of course he's rideable, he's a horse. So this is mean. Wow, that's kind of a... That horse behind us just spawned in. Remarkably. That's kind of cool. I got a horse. Now I really want to level up my pet skill so that I can ride him. That would be great. Okay, which, which way are we going? I want to go in this direction. Back to the road. I think I'm going to call this episode good, though. We got ourselves a horse. What a really weird-looking horse. It's got rather big feet. Look at him run. Love him. <laughs> Can't wait until I can ride him. That'll be that'll be beautiful. Oh crap, those guys killed me before. Oh crap. Run horse run. Alright, we'll we'll end this episode here. Now that we got a horse friend, I'm gonna have to name him. I gotta name him like I don't know. What was it that Let's call him, um, um, what's a good horse name? Like, ah, I, just, I, I don't know, Agamemnon or something? You know, you gotta have like a big ancient Greek name or something like that. Excelsior, you know, some weird, horses all need names like that. I'll name them. Agamemnon, that's a good name. Because <laughs> I can't spell it off the top of my head, so that'll be his name. And when we can ride him, man, this will take no time at all to get down this huge... Look, at it goes off into the direction just forever. Man, I'm just going to be walking forever. Hopefully I find a bedroll soon. And we'll see you next time. I don't know what level I'll be at when we see you next time, but I'm sure progress will have been made. Bye-bye.